उचित भक्त बट प्रहलाद महाराज कैनेट सर विथ होल लिम्स ऑफ बडी एंड अंबरीश महाराज ही कैन डू ही यूज टू बी इन मधुबन इन वृंदावन ही यूज टू डू परिक्रमा ऑफ ब्रिज राधा कुंड श्याम कुंड गोवर्धन नंदगांव बरसाना और प्लेसेस सो ही हैज सम टेस्ट इन दीज थिंग्स सो देर इज सम वैशिष्ट इन हिज भक्ति स्पेशलिटी बट मोर देन हिंग प्रेमी भक्त हनुमान इज मोर सुपेरियर He is serving to his Prabhu and Shri Prabhat also. More than that, Pandavas, Premper, they can see, they can sleep with Krishna side by side. Sometimes Krishna become charioteer of Arjuna and serving Arjuna and Pandavas, and he tells Hanuman to serve Pandavas, Arjuna. To be on his top of the chariot, and you should save Arjun. Engaged also, he was engaged, and also he engaged Hanuman in the service of Pandava. But more than Pandava, Uddha among all Jadubansi, Jadwa, and he prays went to Vrindavan and saw. The affection and mamata and everything to Nand Baba and the Shoda Maya, and moreover he saw gopis and moreover he saw the mood of Shrimati Radhika in the Pradampa, and then he was very much satisfied. In the end, me Mahabhaga. Oh, you have done mercy to me by your vira that Simati Radhika did Brahma ji. Sometimes praising Krishna, sometimes praising, sometimes laughing like mad, dibbe unmar, and all these things, and. Then Uddha began to pray, Asamaho Charana Reni Jusam Ham Shyam Binda Bane Kilm Gurp Milan Tau Sadeena Jad Dusta Jan Swajan Aadhi Patan Jaitwa Beye Mukand Padaveng Suti Pheem Oh, I want to be the bread of cross in Binda Bane anywhere. Why? When Gopi will go to Abhisar to Krishna, their foot dust will be on my head. So he is still in Kusan Sarovar. That is Uddha Kunda. He is like a blade of the cross for me. And in the last he told, "Bande Nand Prajay Sri Nam." पाद रेणु अभिक्षण सहजासन हरि कथो गीत पुना की भुवन दि गोपीज टोल दिस सेपरेशन मोट इन सो हाई वे दैट इफ एनी वन हियरिंग होल वर्ल्ड इज सेटिस्फाइड सो वन ऑफ द डस्ट सो वन ऑफ डस्ट फिट डस्ट Will be of Radhika he wanted, so you should know the glorification of Gopis and Radhika. So why not agree to be their maid servant? This is the main object offer of life and empire. You know Chitraketu Maharaj. He was great devotee. 
in the form of Vritrasu. Uh, he has prayed in a gopi mood bhav. And that is why one of the symptoms of Bhagavat has been told in Padma Puran, where the life of Vritrasu has been written. So Samrani will tell the life of Vritrasu. And Chitraketu Maharaj. Om Gyanam Timirandasya Gyanam Janasalakaya Takshur Militam Yena Tasma Sri Gurave Nama Shri Gurudev has ordered me to say a few words about the history of King Chitraketu. First I'd like to say that Sri Guru is independent. One cannot control him. I studied for one hour about Maharaj Ambarish today. And I pray to Guru please call me for that and don't call me for King Chutukaju because I don't have time to read about it. <laughs> so King Chutukaju uh, was a great king of the world. And the one of the duties of the king is to have a son who can continue the dynasty and perform activities for the benefit of the entire world. By the will of Providence, King Chuchuketu's first wife, uh, Krita Duti, could not bear any children. So although he loved her, he took a second wife, and she also could not bear any children. So he took wife after wife after wife, and finally, he had thousands and thousands of wives. And by the will of Providence, they were all barren. So, by chance, Angira Muni, who is a uh, great friend, associate of Sri Narad Muni, he went to the house of the king, and the king put him on his throne and glorified him. And he expressed his great sadness that I have so many thousands of wives, but no son. Please give me some kind of benediction, some blessing that I can have a son. So, Angara Rishi knew that that would not make the king happy. Amarish Maharaj, because he was engaged in the service of the Lord with all of his senses in mind, not only he, but all of his citizens considered even heavenly planets and all mystic powers to be as insignificant as small pieces of dirty stone. Maharaj Ambush had no attraction for his wife, children, relatives, friends, chariots, elephants, treasury garments or anything. But unlike him, Chitriketu Maharaj was very, very anxious to have a son. So because of his particular um, lack of Sukritis and Sanskars at that time, Angira Rishi could not uh, teach him. He knew, I, could, I can't teach him renunciation at this time. So, great sages have great plans in order to bring their disciples to the platform of renunciation. For example, the guru of Haris Chandra he himself, by his mystic power, made a snake bite his son and kill him to create this detachment, and then he himself brought his son back to life. So Angira Rishi had a plan for King Chitraketu. He said, I'm going to give this sweet rice to you, to give to your principal and first wife, Krita Duti. So the king was so happy, even though Maharaj uh, Angira Rishi said, this son will be the cause of great happiness to you and also great lamentation. So the king thought, no problem. He'll be a little naughty, so I'll get a little upset. No problem. So he gave this um, special sacrifice to his first wife and he begot a very beautiful son. 
as is the nature of co-wives, his many thousands of co-wives became envious because now King Chitraketu was showing even more favor to his first wife because she was the mother of his son who he had now given his life to. Srila Gurudev said in relation to, um, I forget who, somebody had co-wives and they didn't mind, Kunti or Maharaj Dasrith, but Gurudev said, even if your husband has other wives, don't mind, be happy for him. But these other co-wives, he said, it's no harm to you if your husband has other wives. He wants his, uh, all disciples to be so open, so liberal, so generous, just like the tree, he said, that gives its fruits, bark, and everything, and doesn't ask even for water when it's thirsty. So King Chitraketra's wives were just the opposite. They became so envious, and they made a conspiracy. They had a meeting amongst themselves, and they decided, this is very, very bad that he's showing so much favor to this other wife and totally neglecting us, just like we're some maidservants. So they decided, what shall we do to take revenge? We'll poison that son, thinking somehow or other that would bring them happiness. So they gave poison to the son, and the son died. And when the king came to the crib of the son and saw his dead son, and heard about his dead son because there were screams in the court, he was running to his son and fainting and getting up and weeping and running and fainting. And his hair became scattered, his clothes became scattered, and the same with his wife. And the whole, um, the whole kingdom became in lamentation and the wives were also pretending to be in lamentation. At that time, Angira Muni returned to the king and Narada Muni came with him. And now the king, because of all the misery that happened to him, by the mercy of the sages, by the mercy of the Lord, now the king was getting ready to hear properly. So by the will of Angira Rishi and Narad Rishi, the son came to life. And they asked the son, do you want to go back to your father? So the son replied, who is my father? He is not my father. By some past fruitive activities, he became my father for some time. And now I'll have another father, and he'll become the son of another father. Sometimes, one's enemy of one's past life becomes one's son so that that son can give grief. Our Srila Prabhupada told one history that in a village in India, one rich man who lived in a big house, a beggar came to that rich man's house and the rich man beat him. And everyone was wondering, why did this innocent beggar get beaten? So there was an astrologer in the village and he said it was because the beggar was previously the father of the rich man and he used to beat his son. So now he got beaten back. So sometimes an enemy will become a son just to give his father misery. So because of the teachings of the little son, King Chitraketu became renounced and was now ready to follow Narada and Angira Rishi. And he received a wonderful mantra from them and by that mantra, he was able to realize his relationship with Lord Vishnu. He entered the Vaikuntha planets and saw face to face Lord Sankushan, an expansion of Lord Balaram. This same Chitraketu was also, also became a great friend of Lord Shiva. And Chitraketu also now had great powers, being a pure devotee of the Lord. So he rode around one day in his airplane and he came to the spot in Kailash where Lord Shiva was giving a lecture in front of many, many great sages. 
thousands of great sages. And Lord Shiva was sitting naked in that assembly, giving his class. And Parvati was sitting on his lap, and she was also naked. So, King Chitraketu, being a very close friend of Lord Shiva, said, Oh, isn't this a strange way to give a lecture? So he wasn't really criticizing, and anyway, friends can joke with each other, but he was just saying this is a very unusual way to give a lecture. So, Lord Shiva smiled because he knew it was just the friendly joking of his friend, and being free from lust, and his wife also being free from lust, <coughs> there, was no, um, there was no contamination, and whatever he would say would be purifying to all the sages. But his wife Parvati, she became very angry. How dare you criticize such a great devotee as Lord Shiva? So she cursed him that you're acting just like a demon because you're doing Vaishnava Parad, that's very demoniac. So you should become a demon. I curse you to become a demon. And Chitra Ketu very humbly accepted that curse. So Lord Shiva told his wife that this is the sign of a pure Vaishnava. He's so powerful being an associate of Lord Narayan that he could have cursed you back, but he didn't. He humbly accepted your curse. Of course, we should understand that Parvati also couldn't make any mistake because she is the powerful material energy and she is also a pure devotee. Both Shivji and Parvati are our gurus. But in order to teach us to be very careful in understanding who is a Vaishnava and what is Vaishnava behavior, she, and also to show the glory of King Chitraketu, she cursed him. So in his next birth, he became a demon. He was in the body of a demon. Excuse me, I made a mistake. He didn't become a demon. He had the body of a demon. He uh, manifested from a fire, from a great fire sacrifice. In this fire sacrifice, he who was performing the fire sacrifice made a mistake in his mantra. He was supposed to say, Vasta? Vasta Rishi was supposed to say that out of this uh, fire sacrifice will become a great demon who will kill Indra. But he made some mistake in the mantra that came out, we will uh, create a great demon who will be killed by Indra. So this great demon with red hair and big teeth and a trident came out. Very, very tall. How tall? So tall that anybody could fit under his feet. So he challenged Indra and he had a great fight with Indra. And he was smashing thousands of demigods under his feet. And Indra kept trying to kill him, but he couldn't kill him. So uh, now this devotee in the form of the demon, that is Vritrasura, he wanted to be killed by Indra so that he could be free from his uh, demoniac body. So he offered very beautiful prayers to the Lord. And this is what Srila Gurudev uh, introduced in the beginning that actually, even though he's in the body of a demon, which shows that only a pure devotee can recognize another pure devotee, or by the mercy of a pure devotee can we recognize a pure devotee. So in the mood of Braj Bhakti and Gopi Bhav, his prayer was like this to the Lord, that the um, birds, the way the uh, birds relate with their mother, is that when the mother comes to the nest, the uh, mother brings the worms to the birds. So it seems like the birds have been waiting in great love for their mother, but they really haven't. They're waiting for the worms. They really don't want their mother. They want what their mother has to give them to satisfy their senses. So he said, this kind of love, this is not really pretty. And Jiva Goswami has explained in his pretty Sandarva, what is pretty or what is pure love? So he said, this kind of love I don't want. Then higher than that is the calf. The calf is waiting for his cow, 
his mother all day to come back to him in the evening. So when the mother comes, the calf drinks the milk from the mother. So it's not something outside the mother that the calf wants. The milk is inside the mother, but it's still not the mother proper. It's still something from the mother that the calf wants. So Richard Sura said, and he's saying this on the battlefield, so showing that there's no condition in offering devotion and love to the Lord if one has that purity. And if one is Anyavi Lasita Sinyam, he has no material desires, he doesn't allow karma or jnana to cover his devotion. Then under any circumstance, um, what is that? Taila Aravata of a Chinvagati, just like a stream of honey that flows down uninterrupted, the devotee can serve Krishna in any condition without any impediments. And that kind of devotion, as Srila Gurudev said on the first night, is the only kind of devotion that fully satisfies the soul. So, he said, I don't want that kind of love. What kind of love do I want? A wife or a beloved who sees that her husband, a beloved wife, who sees that her husband has come home late. He's not home yet, but he's late and the time is passing and she's already made dinner and it's passing more and more and more. And she's worried about him. Real Vedic wife is that she doesn't care for her own happiness, she's only concerned for her husband's happiness. So she's in so much anxiety, pacing back and forth, asking the children, you know what happened to your father? What happened to him? And they, of course, can't answer. So in great, great anxiety, she's thinking, well, he was taking the train home, maybe the train got derailed, and she's thinking the worst. This is this anxiety is due to love. So actually, there was nothing wrong with him. He's just delayed for some non-dangerous reason. But out of overwhelming love, she's in overwhelming anxiety. So Srila Gurudev is explaining that this is the supreme Uttama Bhakti of the gopis. That when Narada Muni came to them saying, Krishna has a headache and we need the dust of some devotee's feet to cure him, all the other devotees said, no, Krishna is God, I'll go to hell. But the gopis said, here, take some dust, let's get some more dust, let's get some piles of dust. And thousands of, of gopis were getting thousands of piles of dust. And Narada said, aren't you worried that you'll go to hell? And the gopis said, never mind, we shall go to hell, but let Krishna be cured. So a loving wife doesn't care for her own happiness or comfort, only her husband's. And so Srila Gurudev is explaining, and Srila Jiva Goswami, that Ritrasura, although in the body of the demon, he had love of the gopis in his heart. He had that kind of love that he wanted. And so his love is extremely high and we want to follow him before we can become a gopi. Gurudev said, if you want to become a gopi, first you have to be Prahlad, first you have to be Ambrish Maharaj, first you have to be Hanuman, not to jump past them. Thank you. And the Pralambha Bhav for his Priya Tamishtari like gopis, he prayed. And in the last prayer he is telling, Mamottama Sloka Ut Janesu Sakham I don't fear that I will go to hell or here and there. I want, I pray you that give me your most what, high class of Rashi and Tattvagya Bhakta Sangha. This is essential to hear Krishna Katha from their mouth. And <coughs> So, this thing I want, that high class of Rasik Tattak Gavaisnam, Sangha you should give me. And Tanmaya Atma Jadarage Hesu. By your Maya, those who are so much lusty in their family, attached to their family, don't give their association. 
I keep me very far away from those who are attached in family life. We should have no attachment. Mamata and attachment should be the Guru or Krishna. If you give it to offer it to Guru Dev your Mamata, he will take it and give it in the lotus feet of his Ishta Dev Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu. He knows all these things. If he will take that I am Bhokta, all are praising me, all are giving me so many things, then you will go to hell. So don't do this. So I should not be, you should not give me a association of that class of persons who are very deadly attached to their family life. We should be in family life, we married. Don't be attached. No so mamata. You should go on doing your kartabya. Duty. Duty. But mamata should be to in the feet of Krishna. Now we are entering in Dasam Iskandha. Maharaj Sukte Goswami told to Parikshit, Parikshit, you can take some rest, day and night you are hearing. Oh, don't pray. I don't want to take rest from all these things. Hari Kathatyo, especially Nipit Tatarsai Rupagiyamana. A devotee like you, totally detached from worldly life, he has no worldly desire, only to serve Krishna, this desire is there. How Sabhat, if he is telling Krishna Katha, this is a Ram Bhan. Huh? Infallible medicine of this Bhavaro. What is Bhavaro? Coming and going from endless time up to endless time. So, it will be stopped. Kaukuttam slok gunanubad. Those who will be Atmaghati, Atmaga self killer, they will not listen to these Harikatha and follow. Otherwise, all will hear this katha very careful and meditate all this katha after katha, doing pranam to all audience. Those who are doing management to them, to Hari Katha, and those who is speaking Hari Katha to all, then Ajit Krishna can be controlled. Satan Prasangam Vidya Sambhijau Bhavan Kerita Karana Rasayana Katha Tadyo Sanat Asu Apabar Vatmani Sadha Rati Bhakti Ife speaker of Krishna Katha is Rasik Tattakya and he is speaking. Then Satan Prasangam Vrijyavati a very powerful and sweet which is very interesting and pleasing to ears and also to heart if meaning, meaning he is knowing. And then hearing by this Shraddha first Shraddha then Bhav Bhakti and now he again he started Hari Katha whole day, night, seven days, no sleeping, nothing. <laughs> so <coughs> you should hear this Katha like your soul. 
This is the medicine of horror. You know that Chris took birth in the jail of Kamsa. And then he was taken to Nanda Bhavan, Gokul. And they also saw Jasoda that the Krishna has come from my home. Really, Krishna came, come and he is Supreme Lord, very powerful. At a time he can come oh hundred places. So at a time, first he came to Kanskaragar from the home of Devaki, but partly he came. Partly, not four Brajendanandan like Gopika. Hmm? There were some reasons for this. Why Sukhdev Goswami told this? Because he was a Rasadya. He thought that if I will tell vividly that Krishna has taken fully but then Gokul from the womb of Jasoda. Then the, all the girls of Nanda Bhavan and Nanda Gram, how Krishna tell them most beloved. Then it will be seen. Understand what I told? You understood? What? Again, tell them. So yes, the big will become. But with them, no dance, no rush, rush, nothing. But really, Krishna, Shrine Bhagavan, Krishna came by the own bab, Mother Jasoda. Sukhdev Goswami wrote this that he took birth in Mathura jail because he was in that dynasty, so to please them. But really, automatically, what was real came from his, his mouth, so many places, Nanda Nandan, Chasoda Nandan. What is that is no? Nandastu Atma Jukutapanne. Nandastu. In Kanskaradar, in Mathura, and also in. In Mathura, there was no Nadi Sanska. Huh? Cutting there. Nothing. And in Gokul. Oh, it was. So all believed it that he is the son of Mother Yashoda. You know also, <coughs> Krishna gradually became elder, elder, with Balde. And he used to steal butter, milk, and so many things from never gopis. How say? Why? Because they prayed like this. They used to become very happy that Krishna has come in my house and he is taking. They like it. <laughs> they thought that Krishna does not do any of this childhood notorious activity in his mother house. He is doing. So they used to come and to complain. That's all about thinking. Oh. I will see why my child goes to other gopi's house, never a house, and is still butter. So today I will give up holiday for all 
servants and i will mill best cow padma gandha and other and i will make it curd and then myself i will and then i will give so sweet makkhan then he will not go <laughs> and that is why one day we get holiday on kartik pratipada kartik pratipada and <coughs> she was shining and what doing gobind damo udarma dabeti gobind damo they used to wake up and meditating the boyhood of mm, past times of krishna all doing gobind ramo darma kaveti gobind ramo darma kaveti when it is anyone sunny not sleeping oh oh they did not told that i used to sleep gobinda ramo darma kaveti gobinda ramo darma kaveti they are doing house works lipna potana cleaning their houses and what doing by hand they are doing but by mind and by ten they used to tell you can do easily always in the morning gift and this condition go bring the ramo dharma kaveti go bring the ramo Hare Krishna. Now, Sri Pad Krishna Das will do kirtan. But prior to that, Sri Guru Dev will announce your new spiritual name. Who have taken initiation yesterday and today? And in Guru Dev's apartment, I live in living room. My bed was there yesterday during passing beads. By forget. my bid has gone to the devotee so when you by accident so when you announce your name can you stand up and show your bid please then i can understand who is the name bid wow dharma dharma hare krishna we will announce your name and uh, please stand up so we will announce your new spiritual name <laughs> receiving hari naam i believe it oh. from alachua nayana daughter of krishna balabha and radha balabha they went home nayana dasi already gone home to nana devi ki jai another young girl i believe that this is the daughter of dinay prabhu bishaka dasi bishaka dasi ki jai receiving harina from miami mary please mary stand up Malati Devi ki jai. Hello, Max. 
किसी को उसी की प्लीज डॉट फिगर टू शो योर बीज बीज From Mexico City, receiving Harinam, Carmen de las Cruz. Charu Chandrika. Charu Chandrika. Your beats, ma. Sorry, sorry. Those persons who took initiation in their beats are very dark and very old. Then they are much. I'll try again the next one. Okay, receiving Harina, Mario Perla from Miami, Madhmangal Prabhu ki. Receiving Harina from Lauderdale. Excuse me. Receiving Diksha and Harina, perhaps Hortansia Lozada. Hari Priya Dasi ji. Yeah. Receiving Harina, Yosiana Dodar. Billion Chaykon receiving Harinam and Diksha. Sadan Das receiving Diksha. Sadananda Prabhu ki jai. Chandrika. Devi Dasi receiving Diksha. Chandrika Devi Dasi. Oh, very well. Receiving Harina. Eric Kion. I believe from Fort Lauderdale. Ram Rati. Devi Dasi receiving Diksha. Please show your beads. Jagannath Das Prabhu, also nephew of Raghunath Prabhu, receiving Diksha. Jagannath. Jagannath. Jagannath Das Prabhu ki. Receiving Harinam from Miami, Johanna. Johanna. Lady or lad? Oh, lad. Lady. Yamna Devi ki jai. From Miami receiving Harinam, Isabella Fabian. Yamna Devi ki jai. From Miami, Nicholas Keller receiving Harina. From Alachua receiving Harina, Bihari Gentleman. 
Chicago, Troy Salmons. This morning receiving Harinam Ardyan from Montreal. From Miami, Bhakta Deni receiving Harinam this morning during Darshan. Damodas Prabhu Ki No, a few more. Receiving Harinam, Pralav Kumar Das. Pralav Kumar Das Ki. Receiving Harinam, Janaki Sita. Janaki Sita. Janaki Devi Ki. Salvador Ramirez receiving Harina. Pungarananda Prabhu Ki. Receiving Harina Dansu Kondo Taylor. Dansyam Prabhu Ki. Receiving Shishka this morning from Gainesville, Bhakti Vinod. Receiving Harinam and Diksha Prasad Mukherjee Prasad Mukherjee Prasad Prem Narayan Prabhu Ki And there is Vidhi Diksha, Madhvi Devi Dalsi Madhvi Devi Ki Also receiving Hariman Nam, Tamara Kalpokala And the last one, Anatoly Yakovlev. Yang kali rupa sari rana